If you're watching this video, probably you just found out that the app that the manufacturer recommends to use with this drone actually doesn't work. It doesn't even connect to the drone or if it says that it is connected, it doesn't show any image feed on your phone screen. When I first purchased this drone, I was able to use the app as well and I saw the video and was able to save it on my phone but now I'm not able to do that and I was also surprised why I tried to install this app on different devices and on different Android versions and it didn't work but there is a solution you need to find another app and I was able to find another app that can actually capture the Wi-Fi signal and the video that's coming from this drone so I will show you which app it is and then I will record the video and I will show the quality of the video as usually the manufacturer or the resellers of this drone are advertising this drone having 4k or 8k video quality but usually in these cheap drones you cannot have good quality because high quality lens and uh, all technology that's behind creating really good high quality videos costs a lot of money so such cheap drones cannot offer really good video quality so get ready for that whatever they show on the videos on the product specification pages all of those videos are probably processed to look better or maybe don't even have anything to do with the actual videos taken by the drones these drones are entry-level drones you can buy them cheap and try them, experiment with them in order to understand whether you like drone hobby or not. Also in many cases the beginners lose these drones so it's better to lose a cheap drone than buy from the very beginning a very expensive drone and lose that expensive drone. So which app shall we use? Let's go to Play Store first and let's enter GT3 drone app. So the app recommended by the manufacturer whose QR code is provided in the instructions is Wi-Fi UAV but it doesn't work and you can see actually a lot of people complaining about it so my drone is now turned on and let's check the Wi-Fi connection we need to go to Wi-Fi connections so we are in the Wi-Fi settings and we see the Wi-Fi networks available and my drone is on now so this flow UFO network comes from the Wi-Fi signal from the drone so when I choose it it will say connected if you have other devices that you use and if those devices connect to your drone network before you try to connect on your cell phone you will not be able to connect to the drone Wi-Fi something to keep in mind so once we have the Wi-Fi connection established we need to go to the app and turn on the app sometimes if you launch the app before you establish the Wi-Fi connection the app will not capture the video signal from the drone that happened to me with different drones before so now we'll open the app and you see here I have in the top corner unknown SSID message on the other device when I tried the same procedure it would show the name of the drone network and on that device the Android version was older and on that device I was able to use this app and was able to connect to the drone now I'm neither able to connect on that device and on my newer Android phone I am even not seeing the name of the drone whatever I do if I click on it it will ask me to choose the network I will choose it go back and will click the start button it will still not work if I click on video recording it says unconnected so the app doesn't connect to the Wi-Fi network of the drone it just doesn't work I tried it several times I tried to restart the phone restart the drone reinstall the app and I used this app in the past and it worked and I was able to record the videos but now I cannot something happened so we need to look for another app and it is possible to find another app 
I was able to use different apps with different roads in the past as well. And I was able to find actually two extra apps that will connect to the drone. So let's see what these apps are. Let's go to Google Play Store again and let's search for those apps. The two other apps are called KYFVP or KYUFO. So KYUFO is one app that will work with your drone. Let me open it. Here I have the Wi-Fi already connected. Let me not allow even the GPS connection because in the recommended app it says you need to allow the app to do certain actions with your phone which I usually don't like and I don't want some app control my phone. Here you don't have to allow anything. Probably you will have only to allow to record the videos to your phone. So let's press start. And as you can see, I already have the video feed on my screen. So I am now actually transmitting the video from the drone camera. And it works. Let's try to record this video. We press record button. And it starts recording. And now we will be able to check the video quality. Let's put several objects here and see what the picture looks like. We have plenty of light here. Let's put some objects and see how they look like. Let's put something colorful. And as you can see, the video is not that good. It's pixelated, it's distorted, it's blurry. Let's put some other objects here. So you can imagine that even if large objects look like that, you won't be able to capture much details of other objects. Let's shake it a little bit, see how it reacts when you shake it. But at least now you can fly your drone using a controller and see what's going on on the camera and see where the drone is flying. Let's check if we actually recorded anything. We go to the folders, videos, and we see what we have recorded here. Yes, and it looks like we recorded something. So this app works, but here we have some funny stuff. The video is broken, actually. That's another surprise. And when did it start? Start after several seconds of using this app. Okay, several seconds and after that it breaks. Let's try another video again. Let's try to record again the video. We start recording. And now I'm shaking it and see what will happen now. Let's stop recording. Let's go to the gallery. Check the video. And now it looks like the video worked and it's not broken. So it could be that the app is not stable or the drone signal it was not stable. This is difficult to know. So let's try another app. Now let's try KYFVP, which also worked. I have already installed it. Let's open it. Let's start. Now let's check if it is connected. We see that it is connected. And let's start. 
And you see we've got the video again. Let's check if the quality is the same. Yes, the quality is the same. And let's try to record it. We press the record button. We see the time ticking now. And let's record. As you can see, all videos that come from these cheap drones are very similar, very blurry, pixelated. Let's stop recording. Let's check in the folder. And it did not record anything. Let's try again. Let's stop recording. And it's not recording. Okay, this app can be used when you fly so that you can see where the drone is flying. If you want to practice flying around objects, having your drone a little bit away from you, you may need still the feed from the camera. So you will see that video feed on your screen but won't be able to record the video. Let's try to take a picture. Another picture and let's go to the gallery. And the pictures work. It takes the pictures. So as you can see it is still possible to find a solution. So you can use these two apps, one would record the video, the other one would be just providing the feed to your cell phone while flying your drone. If you find more apps that can be used with this drone, you can share it with us in the comments. Or if you have found a solution how to make the original app work, please also share in the comments.